What's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to our milestone sort of episode. Episode number 80 of the Road to Glory. Madness. Craziness. And we're going to start today off uh, with I think day 4 of the foot birthday SBC. Literally just quickly show you that I'm completing it every single day. Because it's a really great way to get an ultimate pack at the end of the week. Uh, even though that pack will be untradeable. Still have a chance to get something pretty cool in it. Which might be useful for an SBC. Might be useful to put in my teams. So... Day four was very simple. I mean, I'll show you that I've completed it, but there's no point me talking about like the route that I went down or anything because, of course, it's expired at this point. And this one was a consumable pack, rare consumables. People tend to get a bit like arsey on Twitter about things like this, but those packs make you a lot of coins if you were to sell stuff on, you know. For about 2,000 coins to complete the SBC, I swear I got like 10k's worth of rewards there, which, you know, it's free coinage at the end of the day. Um, so it was a little bit more expensive for birthday day 5, a few more gold players needed. Uh, I didn't do it as smart as I possibly could have done, uh, but again, just using players from your club is in my opinion, probably a smarter move than actually spending money So uh, uh, on players on the market. So I just literally used what I had. Um, and then we got some 75 rated <laughs> French guy who sold for a little bit more than discard, but the rest of these guys for now can just go ahead and sit in the club um, because... I, I, you know, I'll, I'll use them at some point in time. I might sell them at some point in time. I'm not too sure. So for now... I'm going to make a huge decision here, uh, and you're seeing it on screen. I'm literally listing up Paul Pogba for like over a 50k loss, uh, but we've had some good use out of him. But he's a lot of coinage to have in one player, and I wanted to try some new players, which I would have only been able to afford if I sell Pogba. So for now, we are going to flog uh, the Frenchman, Pogdab, Pogboom. 347,000 coins is what we will eventually get for him. And he actually sold pretty quick. I guess maybe because I had the Hunter card on him. Um, and in hindsight, I could have probably got 350 or something for him. But not the end of the world. So we're up to 458k. And there's a reason for that. And I'm going to show you the, the squad that I'm going to put together right now. Uh, it features a lot of players that we've already got. But take a look at this bad boy. We need to buy four different players that will literally cost us the amount of coins that we have right now. The most expensive one being this throwback foot birthday Eto. I just felt like this series for the past like 20 episodes or something has been kind of the same teams. And I wanted to switch it up a bit. So I have made a huge sale and then a huge purchase in Sammy Eto. His stats look unbelievable and I'm so excited to use him. As well as bringing in more colour here in the purple hero, Lucas Podolski. 86 rated with some incredible stats right there. Um, I think we've made two awesome signings. Let's make a third in the... Uh, man of the match, Abubakar, 84 rated. I've used and reviewed him before, and he was uh, outstanding. So I figured that little trio could fit into a squad with enough chemistry that if we just bring in Gundawan and change formation to the 4-3-1-2, then we can just use our Prem team in the background. And it's we haven't even had to sell Usman Dembele or Benyera or anyone in the French team apart from Pogba. Pogba is the only sale we have made and some silver guys, literally, to bring my coinage up enough that I could buy Gundogan. So, he comes into the squad, just the regular version of him. Stats look pretty good. Good dribbling and passing and stuff. Um, and then he will just slot into the Prem team. So, the Prem team's now looking like that. Only special player in it now is Deli Ali, player of the month. But, of course, he's an amazing player. And then this is the new team. I really like the look of this one. Super excited to use it. I thought I would use some of my chem styles on my new players. Engine for Podolski. Try and boost that pace and more importantly the agility and balance. And then Eto's going to get Marksman because let's face it, he's already rapid. We'll take a little look at these three players now. So, Podolski is 86 rated and he is purple. And he got that for scoring that his, his last ever international goal in his last ever international game. 87 pace and dribbling. He's got 93 shooting, so he should be a beast from outside the box. 86 passing and 82 physical. Hoping he'll be great for us. We then have Vincent Abubakar, who is 84 rated, but he's got mad pace, dribbling, shooting, and physical. Really, really strong player. 
He's got four-star skill moves as well, and he's six foot tall. And then Samuel Eto'o, this throwback is insane. 93 pace, as well as 89 dribbling and shooting. That is a ridiculous card right there. Really good passing and good physicals uh, as well. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. That's actually the same for both of my strikers. Both of them have got three-star weak foot. Don't know how much of an issue that's going to be. And, of course, Podolski has only got a two-star weak foot, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, not the greatest in terms of weak foots. But it brings a lot of, like, colourful items into the, into the series. And... I think they're slightly more exciting than the likes of Paul Pogba on this game. And I'm really happy we've we've changed it up somewhat. So we actually do have three teams on the go right now. I would need to buy a new French midfielder to fit into the French side. Um, but I'm sure I can figure that out. I'll buy someone, I'll buy someone at some point in time. But here is me just setting up my custom tactics for the new side. Uh, and I'm not sure if they stick or if they just get defaulted if I change formation in game or if I go like counter attack or something which I do quite often I'm not too sure how it works but for default I just I literally put those those custom tactics on they seem to work quite well for me so we go on into the daily knockout I wanted to play a few games in a row with the new squad so we'll use some squad fitnesses literally just replenish every single game um and just see what we can do. We come up against a Prem team. Well, it's a mix between Prem, uh, Italian League, French League. And he had a legend in there as well. And literally straight from kickoff. I mean, you're seeing me fast forward it right now. So you know something's about to happen straight from kickoff, right? Podolski plays it into Deli Alley. Abubakar to Eto. And with his first shot for my club, he scores an outrageous goal in off the bar. And he goes ahead and does the Daniel Sturridge celebration. I don't know why, uh, but that is a beautiful goal. And I like instantly just fell in love with him i'm like yeah you are gonna be the one for me in this game so happy about that goal and the fact that he scored it with his first ever shot within like two or three minutes on fifa in his first game craziness podolski and abubakar linking up really well and that strength is just too much and in six minutes and 40 seconds of this game we've gone two nil up both of our new strikers scoring and podolski linking up getting himself an assist too have we just found the trio of dreams? Oh, I hope we really have. And it was about as much as that guy could take. Because he just quit straight up. He, he was gone. He was out of there. And um, we progressed to the second round. Brilliant. I love that. Uh, that was a great start. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a little bit more game time with them in that game. Maybe to boost their goal to game ratios loads. Uh, but you can't complain. Two, two shots, two goals, and a rage quit. So a decent start for the boys. We go back to the squad and I'll literally just go straight into a new game because, well, we don't need fitness after six minutes on the clock or whatever. Uh, and I, uh, I come up against this. Ooh, <laughs> this could be an issue. He's got special SBCs of uh, Chan and Lacazette. He's got Deli Alley Player of the Month and two Dortmund red cards, which to me means that he's packed loads of red cards before. Is he top 100? Is he elite? I don't know, but he's got some good ones. And we start off with a bit of pressure. A couple of little shots on goal doesn't really come to much. Um, but the button delay was strong. And I noticed this... For, I mean, even in that first game, there were a few dodgy challenges right at the start where I was fast forward in it. I thought, why, why is this happening? Why is this doing this? Uh, and I give a sloppy penalty away. I'm not even sure in my opinion that that really was a penalty. Uh, but the ref gave it and I go 1-0 down. So this is what I'm going to switch to in-game sometimes. Put Kante at DM again. Ali and Gundogan in midfield. And then it's very similar. You know, that trio stays up front. Uh, Abubakar spots Eto, who runs through. He's got Emre Chan chasing him, who is very strong and eventually does get the better of the Cameroon striker, which is just unfortunate. Uh, Danny Rose then whips one in front post to Lacazette. I couldn't get near him, and I'm 2 0 down. And I'm only showing you like the goals that he's scoring. He had other chances in between as well. This guy was dominating me, really annoying me as well. And I couldn't seem to get the ball away. I don't know what I was doing. It was bobbling everywhere. He scores a third. And I'm just so... I, I'm a not a nice guy at this point in time. I'm raging. Uh, and I haven't really raged that much at FIFA in a while. So much so, that happens. I just quit. I don't, I don't normally do that. But I just rage quit because we were 3-0 down. The game felt horrible with like button delay and stuff. I couldn't get things going. There was bobbles everywhere. So I thought, I'm going to lose this game. I've already lost it. It was 3-0. Um, 
a different version of me might have stayed in just to see what happens. Maybe the next goal would decide what, what happens. Um, but I decided to quit and just go on another little run. We'll, we'll start again. Forget that one. Also, what I'm not showing you here, we've moved into the first round again. But there may have been another game in between that where I lost 4-0 and Rage quit again. Um, but there's no need to even think or talk about that one. So we'll just move straight on. And we go into this game against what looks to be a really basic Prem team. Didn't look anything too amazing. Uh, my team's definitely better than this guy's. Once again, it was like... I couldn't do my skill moves, um, and if I can't pull off a skill move when I ask it to do so, that to me tells me that there's like button delay going on and all of this sort of stuff. And well, in the start of the second half, he goes 1-0 up, and I feel like I've kind of dominated this game somewhat. So again, like on the part, on the back of those two defeats, one that we're not talking about, um, I, I was already in such a foul mood, and when you're triggered at the game, you don't play how you want to play. And then I get I get a red card with Koscielny. I'm 1-0 down, down to 10 men. I have to make some switch arounds just to get a back four in place. You know, it's important to have that. I'll forget my DM for now and we'll put Kante at centre mid. Podolski kept shooting on his right foot. I guess that was me getting into bad positions and stuff. But Eto plays it to Abubakar who gets past the defender with a Berber spin. Plays it back to Eto. Some really nice dribbling later. He sticks that ball into the back of the net. And with just over 10 minutes to go, whew, thank God, we're at least back in this game and we can keep fighting maybe into extra time or something. Sammy Eto sticks it in. He seems super clinical so far. Um, there's been a couple of games in the middle there where I just haven't had the chances because I've been completely dominated. But he does seem very good in front of goal and what the hell has just happened there. Two minutes afterwards, literally the first attack since he took uh, since he took the kickoff again. He goes and scores a worldie. And I don't know how or why or how. Just, I was so triggered at this point. Kyle Walker plays it to Podolski. And thank the Lord for Lucas Podolski. Scoring for me an equaliser in extra time or injury time. Just in the 90th minute there. It does look like we're going to be sending this one to extra time. I was... Like I've mentioned a couple of times, in such a foul mood at this point in the game. Uh, but we have, of course, managed to send it through. His two shots on target all game have literally got him two goals. And I felt like we were just dominating, but it wasn't what I was pressing wasn't necessarily happening. And I knew I needed to restart my internet. And I don't know why I didn't just restart my internet at the end of each of these games. But I was just like... So angry and stuff that I was just going straight into the next match. I'll show them. I'll go into another match and I'll smack someone 5-0. And it wasn't quite working out for me. Um, so that was, in hindsight, a dumb move. I know if I if I restart my internet, things definitely get better in Foot Champions. The button delay just eases up. Don't know what it is. Um, but I've, I've talked to you about my internet woes before. So I shan't bore you anymore. But Eto plays a lovely ball through to Usman Dembele, who we brought on as a super sub. Gets past the defenders, and that's a beautiful goal. And that is in the 113th minute. I might have just cut out a little segment of me running up and shushing him. Because, again, when I'm a bad person, I do some horrible and silly things. Um, but... <sighs> look at this. Just look at it. I, I don't know what I'm doing with my defenders. Um... I'm so I'm such a broken man at this point that I wasn't playing FIFA how you should play FIFA. There was probably about five times in that build-up, now that I watch it back, that I was like, if you just move your player there and tackle him, then he doesn't score. So I bottled it completely, uh, and we go into penalties. Now, he'd brought Bale on, he'd brought Hammers on, he'd brought Royce on. So we had some good players on the pitch, uh, but I saved the first one. Thank the Lord, that's good. Uh, we then step up with Manalas. Stick it down the middle and he does manage to score. So advantage to me. Royce then steps up, scores. I went sort of the right way, but way too far. Uh, I then stick one down the right-hand side with Martial. It's still advantage to me. Hammers then steps up and I stay down the middle and manage to save it. So if I score this one, we are advantage plus two, which is great. It looks like we're going to go through here. All I need is for him to either miss, for me to save it, or to score the next one, and we're good. And he hits the post, even though I go the right way, and Larice can run away dabbing at the end of the day. I nearly shushed him, but then I remembered that I was recording this for you guys, and 
it would have it just doesn't look good if, if i'm constantly shushing people i hate it when it happens to me um so i hate that i got to that stage at some point during this game so we've made it through the first round that was about as much fifa as i could take for this little session and we are way over 14 minutes right now in today's video so i'm gonna leave it here but i promise i will upload another episode of the road to glory at this time tomorrow uh, for you guys so you can see how we get on through the rest of this particular run in the daily knockout tournament it's exciting I'll, i will let you know that for sure and uh look forward to tomorrow's video of course Koscielny has to come out for a game. We've put Van Dijk in, and it means that we're going to be playing Kante on low chemistry for the next one. But we'll see what happens. Smash a thumbs up on today's video if you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.